Perfect. I'm very happy to be here <laughs> and to uh, have uh, time to explain half of my, of my experience. Okay, uh, what I'm going to talk about is uh, how, could, how to control the stress and how to uh, keep focus during the competition. First of all, I, I make a list of um, of many situations that happened to me and how I solve it because uh, this can happen to you. For example, one of them is uh, our weapons do not pass the control. Um, the solution is one day before of the competition, check all, all of your material and if you uh, ha or um, if your material do not pass have your uh, uh, your tools to fix them like a tester alcohol I have my own bag for that so um, this will help me to fix my weapons during the competition and I won't be stressed also um, usual and common uh, problem is I forget my uniform. That's why one before, one day before of the competition, put everything in your bag. This happened to me in 2007 in my first Pan American Games. I forgot my chest protector. And Andre uh, has, uh, in that time, he uh, get out of the competition, went to the hotel uh, and bring protection. And I uh, lose a lot of concentration in that type. So the solution, put everything inside of your bag one day before. Okay. Also, um, <laughs> also uh, for example, in Cuba, there was no no place to buy a uh, water gatorade so one day before or maybe you can bring it from your country gatorade okay so uh, you you will be calm and you won't be desperate trying to buy you know uh, another thing that happens to me is for example i twist my ankle so I have medicine like uh, this sprays that uh, is like ice to have calm, you know. I have also uh, this type of things that can give me some support of my uncle. So I have like a solution, immediate solution for that. So I do not become, um, I won't lose the concentration. Also, if I'm hungry, because some competitions it takes longer than others, uh, I bring, for example, from breakfast, from the hotel, I bring two eggs, I bring uh, the fruit uh, of the breakfast, to, I bring uh, cereal bars, chocolates, everything that can give me energy during the competition. So I won't lose time, you know, trying to buy something outside. Uh, also, uh, for example, I sweat a lot. Of course, I think all of us sweat a lot. I have my own towel. And for example, I use these same glasses to the, uh, for the competition, so I need to clean them. So I use my own towel and that's the solution for me. And also, the ones that has uh, glasses stop the competition, you know, the match and clean them. There is no problem. Don't be uh, shy to stop a match because this, uh, you can lose points because you need to see. <laughs> also, um, sometimes I get stressed because I do not have a teammate to warm up. So uh, I, in that case, you need someone. There is so many fencers in the competition. Just took one, ask them. Don't be shy. 
you can ask them to fight if there is no strip to make uh, you know the warming up you can do it you know in a corner without the strip you just need to warm up your body and also your brain your your thoughts you need to warm up them okay how uh, ah, also there is a, a thing that some persons has that it calls in Spanish cabalas. It's like uh, lucky things like t-shirt, bracelets, I don't know, maybe socks. I, I got a friend that she slept with, uh, with uh, socks one day before the competition. So these can give you some superpowers. Uh, if it works for you, it's okay. But you have to realize that uh, even if they put you a mop in your hands, you will do it excellent. Okay? So uh, you do not need that to, to be great at the competition. Now, how I can get concentrated during the, the competition? The first thing that I do is to have positive thoughts. Okay, and to disappear all of the of the negative, like even uh, for example, if I have a fight with my mom, with your boyfriend, with uh, I don't know, maybe a problem in your house, disappear. This is a time that you have to focus just you and the competition. That's all. And also, I have. Uh, winner mentality. This is something important. What it means to have a winner mentality. That you've been doing fencing, you've been training so hard, so you plan this competition, you are prepared. So don't, don't be scared of what you are going to do in the competition because your muscles are prepared for that. Because your coach have been preparing you for that day. So you have to um, focus and also trust your coach. Uh, also, what, what I'm, I do for the competition. Uh, normally, uh, I, I hear uh, music. I do not talk so much with the persons because I try to be me and the competition okay uh, i try to find a space to warm up and also to stretch i think that is the 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 best part to have time for you and the competition to warm up and to stretch a lot because when you get nervous your muscles become tight and you need to be relaxed, so you need to stretch, to have time for that. And the best thing is to warm up your head. So I, I try to warm up, stretch, and then have, have points with somebody. So this, this wakes me up, and I'm prepared for the competition. There is a phrase, a typical phrase that also comes to my mind, that is, what happened if I disappoint my family? What, what happened if I disappoint my coach? The, the answer for that is that you are not going to disappoint it. Why? Because no matter what you are going to do, uh, they know that you give everything in that competition. So uh, do not be anxious and enjoy it. The, the, the competition. That's the message that I give you. They, they will never be disappointed because you are giving everything to that, for that competition. Thank you very much, uh, Maria, <laughs> uh, for your great explanation. And I really appreciate you that you share your experience in uh, Olympic and Pan-American competition with us.